project uh, a heavily, like a big animal feature like the Lion King comes around, um, are your teams always involved? And if so, how do you get involved? Uh, yeah, I would say for us, from a conservation perspective, uh, we look at all the upcoming animal-focused films to really think about if there's a unique story or connection that we can make to conservation efforts out in the wild. Um, we know that our stories reach millions of people, and if we can reach that audience with great information about the species being featured, then we can make more of an impact. And the technology on, um, on a project like this, it's, it's from Jungle Book to Lion King, it's so impressive what they're able to do, bringing Amazing human elements to, you know, mm -hmm. animals and making them, them look live action. What are your thoughts on how the animals in this feature uh, are realized on screen? The animals in this movie looked unbelievable. Uh, it, some of the most realistic animals I've ever seen on screen that weren't real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was mind blowing. <laughs> when an animal feature like this has become such a big hit around the world, do you notice a change in interest? And for you guys, I know with conservation partners, for mm -hmm. example, does that change what yeah. the topic of discussion is? And, and John, for you, is there other, um, does related content in other media, like does Disney, Disney Nature want to do more hyena-based content when something like this comes out and is a hit? You want to uh, go first? Uh, sure. Um, so, I don't know if there's, I guess there's certainly a change in interest depending on what kind of characters are the stars. Uh, I don't know if we're going to necessarily change our programming based mm -hmm. on that, but um, it's it, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that we well, there's constant submissions of what people think new Disney nature films should be, and I think when people get inspired by animals like you see in The Lion King, those we probably do see a peak in what people are saying. Hey, you should make a movie about lions sure. or about you know meerkats, probably <laughs> at this point. How so, about yeah. for the fans and consumers? Then, what sort of message do you hope they take away from being able to see a movie like this on the big screen? Yeah, I, you know, and to your earlier question, I think for us as we thought about this film, we tied the Lion King Protect the Pride campaign to it. You know, we really wanted to use this moment in time and the millions of people that love this story to say something and, and to really talk about the fact that lions are in trouble. We've lost half the world's lions since the first film came out, but also to inspire people and to give them hope and so that they can see that they and themselves can make a difference for the future of the species. Sure. Yeah. Uh, for a project like this, and mm -hmm. I guess uh, the Jungle Book before, so much work went into like designing these animals and making them life, like animating them, and of course all the processes to make that happen. Are you hoping to see that continue, to see more Lion King content, whether it's a spinoff or a sequel or a focus on certain animals? So this production presented a really unique opportunity to bring the filmmakers to the animals. Uh, the filmmakers spent about six weeks here at Disney's Animal Kingdom in and around animal areas, really focusing in on animals in the natural environment and the mm -hmm. animals' natural behaviors. And I think that's really reflected in the movie. And I think any time you can bring the production to the animals, it's, it's a win-win for the animals. And yes, we want every movie to have animals in it. I mean, I think that's completely <laughs> selfish. I want all the films to have animals in it and for us to be able to tell great stories about how people can save them. Great. My last question is related to that. Mm -hmm. This is from my team. Um, the animals presented in this film, it's a different set of animals we saw mm -hmm. in The Jungle Book. If yeah. you could pick an animal or animals to see in another big budget feature like this, what would you personally like to see most? Ooh. I'd love to see some of the smaller wild cats. Uh, I love lions and tigers, but there's a whole world of small cats out there in the mm -hmm. wild that I think are uh, maybe a little underappreciated and underrepresented in media. And they're some of the coolest animals, I think, on the planet. Cool. Uh, I would say, maybe to balance his answer, something marine, like a bunch of ah. sharks and whale sharks and hammerhead sharks. They're just Very such cool. interesting creatures, and I think they get a real bad rap. Um, so I think to you know raise greater awareness about how wonderful sharks are would be a wonderful thing. I like the sharks, though. My personal answer yeah. would be Canadian wolves, but Ooh, yeah. I, I want to see all of these. I though. think that's a common uh, request for mm -hmm. what people want to see in a film.